Alrighty, we've got a super late start on the day, on the video part of the day. It's, uh, I got up in good time today, but I've been doing so many other things and I haven't had this camera turned on. 2.25 in the afternoon and I'm heading back to town. This is my second trip to town today. Uh, my wife went earlier without me, so this is three trips to town for our family. Uh, that's a waste of time. But the wonderful and fantastic news is that we are gonna try and get that tracker knife done today. Windex with ammonia. That is actually all that I had to come to town for. I think I'm gonna do an acid etch on that blade. Uh, when we do it, I like to neutralize the acid with ammonia or Windex, and that way it stops the etching right away. And I was entirely out of Windex, so I just had to come grab some more. Now let's get back and work on that knife. This is where we left off yesterday. We got these scales roughly shaped out. Today, what we need to do, just do a little bit more trimming, kind of dress these up a little bit better. And then we're going to kind of scallop, I don't know what they call it, like rock patterning. I don't know for sure. I'm not exactly sure. We're gonna put some type of a texture onto this G10. And then also we need to make these screws a little shorter, uh, get the proper screws, cut them down so that these things will bolt up nice and tight. I'm thinking we're gonna acid stone wash this blade as well. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I'm going to finish the profiling in this area. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll kind of round this off a little bit. Uh, that's kind of a sharp point there. And then, like I'd mentioned yesterday, I'm going to grind this that way just a little bit. And then once that's done, then we'll probably do, you know, we'll kind of bevel these edges here. Uh, I'm not going to do much beveling anywhere else, just right here. And then we'll start figuring out how we're going to put our patterning in here. Let's go ahead and pop these scales off quick. Okay, with those off, I'm gonna kind of join them together a bit. And when I say join them, I mean, we're just gonna put the screws through, kind of, so we can uh, kind of keep them together. Okay, let's go make some dust. Alright, so we've got our scale shaped out and we've taken them off of the knife and now what we're going to do is just start profiling. I can't really say that I'm a huge fan of textured scales in the first place. I just I just don't like them that much, but I've never done them before and I wanted to try them, so that's what we're doing. Before we go and start doing our crazy rock patterning thing, I'm going to 45 this part here. And then these parts here. And to do that, all I've got is this is a piece of maple. And I cut it at 45 degrees. And so I can just rest this on here. That way it will maintain 45 degrees for me while I'm grinding. And then we'll start putting in this relief for your finger. And I think when we start getting to this part, we'll probably bolt the scales together again. So that I can just go one side to the other and make sure we keep them as even as, as, even as possible. Okay, let's do this.
personally, I'm not crazy about those scales. Not at all. Feeling kind of bleh. Although they feel really, really good. Like the, the grip is phenomenal. You grab onto this thing, it's, it's solid. Obviously it's a massive thick piece of steel. It's over a quarter of an inch. Tang, way too thick. But this is what the customer had initially ordered and that's why I made it to their spec. Uh, but it actually does feel really, really good. It's still sharp. It's got a pretty good edge on there. Do I acid wash or do I not? That, that. It's a question. I like the feel of it. I like the feel. The aesthetics, I'm not crazy about. But that does feel mighty fine in the old hand. Very, uh, very formidable weapon. It feels very good, secure. I don't know. I don't know if I should acid wash that or not. Mm, mm, mm. That's a tough one. Got our ferric chloride. Let's just kind of. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to like that better. I do think it's gonna be better. So, we're just gonna leave it in here for a while. All right, while that thing's etching, check this out, this this is really gross. That's gross. Oh my goodness. Look at all of them. Look at all those seagulls. Oh my goodness, that is nasty. Do you think it would be mostly wise to stay inside so don't get pooped on? That's look a little bit more like a a beastly tool. Okay, so one thing we're gonna do while we're waiting for the acid to, to do its thing, let's see if we can grab the drone. I just wanna fly it through all those seagulls. But we're gonna try. Should we go find the drone, Foster? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can help me put them on. Is this one good? Oh no. Is it dead? No. Wait, it's gonna go. I'm watching it, huh? Is that okay? <laughs> it did. <laughs> I guess I didn't put that one on right. All right, that looks better. So we've been in the acid for about 15 minutes. I think that's gonna be enough. I'm gonna take it outside, spray it off with some Windex, and we'll see how it looks. Are you guys ready for a revolutionary way to stone wash your blades? Gravel in a bucket with a knife. Ready to do the final assembly on this thing. 
Make sure to put our spacers in the corresponding hole. Okay, also I ground down these black screws, so I think those will look a little better. Let's see how this whole thing comes together here. But I think it looks a million times better uh, with this being acid washed than it did when it wasn't. A pretty nice little texture on there from the sandblasting. We gave a quick sharpen on the paper wheels. It, it's sharp enough. Uh, the reason we use the paper wheels, well, you can do a really good job with the paper wheels, but they're also so fast. And it is like, it's 8.04 and I haven't had supper yet, so I wanna get inside. I just wanna crack on an edge real quick here. And uh, you know what, thanks so much guys for all your input on this build. Uh, especially yesterday's video, I asked if I should acid etch it. I asked, blah, 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 blah. I asked if I should acid etch it or not. Uh, the majority of you said to acid etch it, and I think it turned out quite well. It kind of looks like some type of a post-apocalyptic blade, and the feel in the hand is good. I mean, when you hold on to this, oh, it just feels like there is work to be done. Let's get on it. Really, really quite happy with the way this turned out. Fit and finish, pretty good. Quite happy with that. And uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more time just finessing this edge so we can get it just so it's like buttery, smooth cutting. And uh, this will be a really good utilitarian blade. For the sheath, what I'm thinking about doing is some type of a sheath that will hold it like this, but kind of have this much of it open so that you could draw it like this rather than having to pull all the way out. I think that might be a lot better, especially consider the blade gets wider uh, towards the tip. So if we could just like, like that. So I'm going to think about that. Maybe we'll come up with something and uh, pa chow like that. Anyways, uh, thank Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, this little circle right here. You can hit that circle and it will subscribe you to this channel. And I'm gonna leave a video or a playlist or two of them up in here for your viewing pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. Mm -hmm.